G'day everybody, it's me again. Very quick update for Sunday. I've uh, been very busy the last few days, that's why you haven't heard from me. Um, I've uh, been working on this one today, however. I have my cat bank charger now working and it charges at a very great rate of knots thanks to a new capacitor. Um, it makes a little bit of a few noises from the uh, flyback, but hey, I'll live with that, it works. Um, I've actually started writing the Arduino software to uh, control the capacitor bank and I thought I'd just do a, a little demo here of the charging sequence. Now I can actually press a button on the on the uh, what you call it, the uh, Arduino screen itself, the little LCD and it will charge and stop charging. Oh, hmm. <laughs> ah, that's, that's always the way isn't it? Oh, that one came off. Ah. Uh, broken wire. <laughs> well, I hope you get the idea. Now, there is actually a discharge command uh, com uh, written in as well, but uh, at the moment it doesn't work because there's no relay or anything hooked up for discharging. But I thought I'd just do a quick little update on that. And uh, I hope you like that Dash 8. This is my little attempt at uh, the uh, little build off we were doing. And uh, yeah, now I have to discharge that very carefully with this. Now, hopefully, when that gets down to 10 volts, it will actually stop discharging by it. So, well, it will. The Arduino will stop sending the command, which is that red light there. Geez, I think I'm going to need a bigger resistor for this, it gets hot already. Hopefully when that hits 10 volts it will stop and go back to the command screen. So see how good my programming has been. Oh crap, maybe it's 5 volts. Yep, there we go. So a little bit of update on that. Sorry for the muck around there with the uh, wire come off. <laughs> Thanks for watching.